Hello, my name is Yonis Dizog, and in this video tutorial I'm going to take you through on how to complete this task uh, for Unit 6. I will go through and explain to you all the subject, the whole subject and all the topics, however you will need to do for some further research and put all the information within your own words to show us your understanding of the subject. The first thing you need to do before you get started, make sure you put your full name where is you require to put your full name, make sure you put the correct date, so by double click on the header you will be able to edit this content, if I double click now in the body, then change your full name here, change the font sizes, change the font styles, based on your requirements, and make sure you're going to change this picture with your own picture, a picture that appeals to your needs. Something relevant to basically programming. So this topic is factors influencing the choices of programming languages. We're going to talk about three different programming languages in this report. The second page is the content page. Now, the content page is picking up all the headers. For example, if I put here on the introduction, put 5555 and go here, I will be able to see the word introduction at the top. However, the 555 is not showing. If I click on the update table, if you won't be able to see the update table here, just click once here and then you will be able to see it. Click on the update table, click on the update entire table, and then the 555 will appear. Now, if I remove the word 5555 from here and from here, and go further down. This 5555 is still exist here. So make sure you're not going to edit the table of content. You're just going to update it. Okay. Once you've done this, you're ready to get started. So the introduction is part of uh, basically uh, information in a nutshell of what follows. My suggestion to you is complete the whole report. And once you have completed the full report, then you will know exactly you have what you have discussed. And as a result, here the introduction will be the information not so of what is going uh, you're going to uh, discuss. So organizational policy. Every single organization have their own policy, and based on this policy, there's a num number of factors that we have to take into consideration. And one of the main ones is security. Another one is the Data Protection Act. The scales and the size of the application, as well as the network. Now, as an organization policy is in place, the C Sharp programming language is one of the most powerful programming languages. And as a result, the security is quite high due to the fact that it has a quite high level of encryption. Every single organizational policy can comply with the C-Sharp programming language. Due to the fact that the security is quite high in C-Sharp, the Data Protection Act can be obeyed. And as a result, it is advisory for the C-Sharp programming language to be used in every single organization where the security of the Data Protection Act the scale of the application could be as big as you, as you is, and if there is a network connectivity which needs to have a secure applications, yes, the C Sharp language programming is the language you should do, recommend to uh, be used to develop further applications for this particular organization. So, the ability of terms is available features and tools. Now, C Sharp is quite popular programming language developed by Microsoft. The bottom, the, the behind the scene is the language C, which basically the language C is behind every single programming language we have in existence today. Now, Microsoft took the C language and improved the C language. Improved the C language in such a way that it will be easier for people, for programmers to develop programs easily and quickly by actually taking the C language and putting plus, two pluses in front of it. So the very first version of Microsoft 
uh, programming language, C language, on steroids, I would say, is the C++ language, which is still powerful language today. However, Microsoft introduced new libraries, improved the code, improved the functionality, and optimized the whole code. And as a result, they came up with a new language, the C Sharp language. The C Sharp language is the one of the most powerful languages that are used, especially in gaming, and anything to do with security, like security to database connectivity applications, websites, and so on and so forth, video games. Now, because the C Sharp language is a secure programming language, it will be advisory. It will be advised by any programmer to be used for database connectivity, as the, as it is secure. So by using the C Sharp programming language to connect to a database, you know that the encryption level is quite high, and as a result, it's going to be a lot more uh, difficult for hackers to penetrate and basically access the data within the database. So therefore, it will be recommended as a programming language to be used for database connectivity. Multimedia, sound, animation, videos, etc. C Sharp, as I said before, is a powerful language. It has the ability to introduce and apply multimedia within the application. You can embed sound, animations, and videos, pictures, etc., etc., within your application. Or you can use C Sharp to externally import them in real time. When we're talking about real time, we're talking about applications where you don't, that, which are quite light in size. So when you actually execute them, as you execute them, they start basically downloading the files from the internet in real time. As a result, the executable file, the original executable file, is quite small in file size. The next thing we need to discuss is visual objects, forms, buttons, text boxes. And the answer is yes, C Sharp is a very powerful application and it does have lots of visual elements. Visual elements that can be customized and reshaped in any, any, any kind of uh, colors. You can apply any kind of colors and any kind of shapes. You can apply buttons, text boxes. So by using the C Sharp language, you will be able to actually generate a nice user-friendly interface that is not only easy for you for others to basically use and follow but also for people with visual impairments audio impairments and any other disability C Sharp is a program language that can actually bypass a number of different difficulties platform independent C Sharp is a platform independent programming language C Sharp is used nowadays on APKs and APPs. APKs are files which basic are executable files that are based on Android devices. APP files are executable files based on the Macintosh devices like iOS, like iPhones. So therefore, C Sharp as C Sharp can be installed on can develop applications, mobile applications that can be installed on different devices on different platforms. It is a platform independent programming language. Office compliance. Now C Sharp is an office compliance because based on the C Sharp programming language, all Microsoft Office products have been developed, like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Access, Microsoft, Pu Microsoft Publisher, PowerPoint, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Outlook, and so on and so forth. So you could actually replicate Microsoft Word by using C Sharp. You can create your own Word document application. You can call it whatever you wish by using the C Sharp programming language. Furthermore, availability of training staff. Now, C Sharp is quite a popular language. And as a result, there's loads of resources in the internet, especially in the YouTube on, on YouTube. YouTube videos enable people to basically share resources and basically identify different ways on developing applications further. Applications that are user friendly, easy to learn, and familiar way of working. When we're referring to familiar way of working, we're referring to basically platforms where we know on the top left corner we have the file. On the top right corner, you have the exit, the minimize, the maximize, and so on. The minimize, the maximize, and the exit. 
So this is a way fam familiar way of working. So C Sharp enables you to basically develop user-friendly applications, which basically give the users the familiar way of working uh, functionality. Reliability of C Sharp, self-healing. I'm pretty sure lots of people have experienced this by actually accidentally your computer restarting. You think that you've lost all your work. However, when you actually restart your document, your your operating system. Suddenly, when you actually try to relaunch Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Access or any other Office applications, these applications basically enables you to actually see some options as, ah, there was a power code. We noticed that. Would you like to retrieve the unsaved files? And then you click on them and you, your work is, is already there. So C Sharp has the self-healing ability. Low resources demand. Now, one of the programming languages that it cannot be classed as a low resources demand in C-sharp. C-sharp is so rich in security, in encryption, in resources where basically enables people to create and develop user-friendly applications. The resources demand is quite high, and as a result, you require good processing power, good size of RAM memory, storage space, power supply unit, and so on and so forth. So I wouldn't say that is a low resources demand, uh, low resource demand has low resource demand. I would say C Sharp has quite high resources demand, but you get what you pay for. If you want quality, you have to actually persevere with the resources. Now, is it to back up? Yes, C Sharp is allows you to easily back up applications like, for example, Microsoft Log Work, as I mentioned before, was developed in C Sharp, so you can actually go to File and Save Us and save these files easily and quickly. You can actually develop software applications and save the software applications easily and quickly as well. Development and maintenance cost. Now, to, see, to develop applications C Sharp, you, you, you can actually develop C Sharp applications by using just Notepad. However, Microsoft, as it is Microsoft product, C Sharp, uh, provide you with uh, Visual Studio. The Visual Studio platform is called Visual Studio IDE, Integrated uh, Development Environment. Enables you to basically develop applications quicker and easier than ever. The current version of Visual Studio we have at the moment is called Visual Studio 2019. Visual Studio has different packages. There's a free version, which is the developer, the community version, and there's the ultimate version, premium version, where you have to pay money for it. The cost for the premium version always changes. So my advice to you is check the website, Visual, if you go to Google and you type Visual Studio, you will be able to actually see the packages that they have. As you can see here, you have the Visual Studio community, different platforms, different versions of Visual Studio. Let's have a look. Uh, you also have Microsoft just released the Visual Studio for the, uh, uh, the online version of Visual Studio. Download Visual Studio. As you can see here, you have the community, the professional, the enterprise. Now, the professional, the enterprise have prices. Now, if you visit them, the prices always changes. If you visit them, you will be able to actually identify the prices. The community version is always free. So Microsoft gives you gives the community version for free in order to basically have more developers, new developers, students, enthusiasts, so programming enthusiasts, to basically start developing applications that can be installed all across different platforms. And as a result, they're basically promoting Microsoft. That's the reason why they give it for free. Okay. So, expandability of C Sharp. C Sharp, as I've mentioned earlier, a number of times, is a powerful application, so you can actually make the application as big as or as small as you wish. It is very easy to expand as long as you have the SLN file. The SLN file are the file which basically is the default file that you have actually. Uh, use to develop application. If I go to and start a Visual Studio application, uh, 
and I try to create a new project and I'm going to use a C sharp project so once I save this project into my documents area I'm going to save it within the VB folder I'm just going to call it test All the necessary files will be created to the back end. Now, if I go back to my documents area now, and I go to the VB folder, I will be able to actually see the folder called test. Within the folder test, I've got the SLM file. Now, the SLM file is the pathway, is the door to basically gather all these files and keep all these files nice and tidy. If I do not have the SLM file, then all these files will be corrupted. This is security thing that Microsoft have, has actually put to ensure that if somebody doesn't have the original SLM file, okay, no one will be able to steal somebody else's work basically by actually having the slm file we can always go back and edit the application further and develop the application bigger and make it bigger and bigger by actually going to the projects and add more windows forms or more classes and so on and so forth so i could add multiple windows forms i could add multiple classes and so on and so forth Let's go back to our report. Okay, I think I covered this. So it's easy to expand and the scale can be as big or as small as you wish. Now, C Sharp has a lower version. Has a, C Sharp has a little child there. The little child of C Sharp is VB. Now, VB is very, very powerful as well because VB is basically the flavor of C Sharp. But VB is, is a dummy down version of C Sharp. So quite a lot of code is being hidden behind the scene to make things more simple. Where with C Sharp we have all this code available to us. Let's double click here. With C Sharp we have all this code available to us automatically. Okay. With VB all this code is hidden. We have only limited amount of code available. And if we delete something in VB, it will not break our application. We have to really, really work hard to actually break a VB application where with C Sharp, we can actually easily break the application by only removing a, a bracket. So if I go here, all right, it has not, re all right, let's go there. I'll just remove the number one there. Okay. So I remove a number one there and automatically I broke the whole project here. Okay. Where with VB, nothing like this can happen. I can always go back and fix that if I know what I'm doing. However, if I don't, I could actually have my whole project fail. So VB is basically is a great tool for beginner programmers where they can actually abuse the code and the code will still and the program will still work in it's not going to work properly but it will still work and it will allow people to basically fix mistakes well with c sharp c sharp can be unforgiving sometimes you can easily corrupt your project and as a result you have to start all over again well with vb you can it's very like i said before it's very extremely hard to corrupt the project so this is why Visual Basic, VB stands for Visual Basic, is recommended as a programming language for the uh, very beginners, programming programmers. Programmers who basically begin to program for the first time. Now, because C Sharp is basically is a branch of VB, sorry, VB is a branch of C Sharp or vice versa, okay? But it's watered down version of C Sharp. It still have quite high level of security. It still has quite high level, you know, it's very, still very good to be used uh, for Data Protection Act. So it will meet uh, the requirements for P Data Protection Act.
the application the size of the application could be as big as or as small as you wish and because of the security can be used uh, to basically develop applications that can be connected onto a network so visual basic is still a very powerful programming language despite the fact that it's not as powerful as C sharp is still very very powerful programming language the encryption level on vb is quite high as well because of that the database connectivity is quite good okay so you can develop applications where you can actually generate database connectivity you have multimedia sounds animations and videos so basically not so these sections here we have are exactly the same sections that we had before with G sharp and I would say that every single thing that we discuss in G sharp can be applied exactly the same thing into a VB the only thing I would say is when it comes to security is not as secure as C sharp however it's still secure the reason why the security in VB is not great is not as great as C sharp is because in C sharp you can actually modify every single element of the code but because in VB you don't have access to the predefined code and the code is behind the scene and you have no control over it if there are developers who actually leak some information of the code that is structured behind VB to the uh, some hackers or some hackers figure out how certain applications VB applications basically function then it is easier for hackers to penetrate VB applications because the C sharp applications can be modified altogether and different developers using different strategies to modify applications and develop programs their own programs then it's going to be a lot more difficult for the ha hackers to penetrate C sharp applications. Apart from that, everything else I would say is exactly the same as C sharp, including the self healing and the cost to buy and maintain the application. VB is part of the Visual Studio, as well as C sharp. C sharp is part of the Visual Studio. Which means that the cost to, to, to buy the software, if you buy the professional license or the enterprise license or upgrade this license, will be exactly the same. It is easy to expand and it can be as big or as small as you like. The only thing you need to take into consideration, as well as C Sharp and VB, is the fact that you need uh, quite a lot of resources. So the bigger the application you will have, the more RAM memory will require, the more storage space will require, and the more power thirsty it's going to be, which means that you need a better power supply unit. So if you go further down, we're gonna, we will need to discuss VB console. Now, VB console is quite a lot, is a quarter down of VB completely. So any console application classes a procedural programming. A procedural programming has very, very low security. And as a result, the Data Protection Act cannot be obeyed due to the lack of security. The scale of, of the application could be as big or as small as you wish. However, it's very, very time consuming to keep writing every single line of code. Because of the lack of security, we wouldn't recommend procedural programming to basically develop applications that can connect to the network unless you have an, an additional software to secure it so you could put C sharp okay firewall to secure procedural applications suitability of in, in terms of available features and tools now procedural programming VB consoles like like I said before is a procedural programming it does not have any multimedia it doesn't have visual elements the only thing it has basically is the black blank screen black screen okay now this black screen can be changed to white screen with black text or red screen with white text and so on and so, and so forth now one thing that I failed to mention earlier is the platform independent for VB now VB is not as powerful as C sharp and when it comes to platform independent C VB it is platform dependent which means that VB needs to be uh, developed and installed only on Windows uh, computers 
on Windows operating systems. So you cannot install VB applications on a Macintosh or an Android device. Where C Sharp or VB console applications, uh, any procedural programming can be installed on different applications, uh, different operating systems, sorry. Now, uh, the database connectivity, like I said before, the security is very poor in consoles, in VB consoles. Uh, then we would not recommend uh, this programming language to be used to develop applications where we need to, to generate database connectivity due to the lack of security. Multimedia, like as I mentioned earlier, doesn't exist on console applications or procedural applications. On procedural applications, we don't have any visual objects like buttons. Everything is based on procedures. It is platform independent, like any procedural programming. Because it's very light in size, can be basically understood and read by many operating systems. Office compliance, definitely it's not in office compliance, right? Office compliance are applications that basically have a user-friendly interface. So procedural programming doesn't actually allow you to have this uh, user-friendly interface. And as a result, it, it, it is not a programming language which we will be able to recommend for uh, as an, uh, to be developed for an office, for an office user. Now, availability of training staff. It is not user friendly. It is quite time consuming, and you have to uh, basically remember all the procedures. However, it is still fairly easy to learn. Okay, but it doesn't actually give you a familiar way of working. People have no use to it. People like to click things and drag things. People like visual elements. Reliability in BB Console, self healing. No, it doesn't have self-healing capability. So a console, a procedure, any procedural programming, like a notepad, uh, if I open a notepad, a no notepad will basically give allow me to put some text. If I accidentally, that my computer restarts, all the information within the notepad will be deleted. I will never be able to get it back. Low resources demand. It is one of the most commonly used uh, programming languages uh, where the resources uh, the resource the demanding of resources has to be low uh, for example if we are sending a spacecraft to a different planet we want to basically develop procedural programs procedural programs are quite a lot light uh, are quite light in, in storage and basically respond fairly quick when it comes to uh, basically far distances where with C sharp and VB, we will, it's going to be because of the visual elements that we will have, it will be a bit more time consuming to basically retrieve the data. So for example, if we send a spacecraft to Mars, if we develop applications based on OP or EDP, it will take the information longer to arrive to the Earth. And as a result, it, it might be a matter of uh, life or death. So we will recommend procedural programming for further distances. We will recommend procedural programming for applications where there is no graphical user interface, like washing machines, dishwashers, uh, fridges, etc., etc., elevators. Easy to back up. It's fairly. It's, it's a lot easier to back up procedural programs like VB consoles because of the file size. The file size is quite quite low, quite small, and as a result can be backed up a lot quicker than any other programming language. Development and maintenance cost, VB console. The cost to buy the software is free. The cost to maintain the application is free. The cost to upgrade the application is free. Now, if you want to develop applications by using console, VB console, the only thing you need to do is have basically the community version of Visual Studio. There's no point for you to actually purchase the professional version or the enterprise version if you are going to develop applications based on uh, procedural programming. Expandability of VB console. It is easy to expand, however, it is time consuming. 
scale, how big can we be? You can make a procedural application as big or as small as you like. The only thing you have to take into consideration, as I've mentioned earlier, like C Sharp and VB, are the resources of the hardware resources on your system. Once you have explained all these in, and put them into your own words, you will need to put a conclusion. Within your conclusion, you will put something along the lines. Throughout this report, I had the opportunity to explain the different types of programming languages and basically discuss the differences between them. I had the opportunity to basically show evidence that I can actually advise customers in the future of what kind of programming language they should use based on the requirements and I would be able to justify myself by explaining to them why they should use this particular programming um, language. This will conclude the factors influencing the choice of programming language for, for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see your report in a professional structure and professional manner, as well as have enough details there to show me that you have a clear view and clear understanding of the topic. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.